going on, y'all? Hey, man. I always be having eye openers like this, you know, like, it's like you he be just setting it up. He be just setting it up because it may be sometimes where I might not have the understanding of, of, of something, right? I don't have the understanding of a thing. So, um, check this out, right? Man, this, this made me smile, bro. Like, this really made me smile when this happened today. Um, so I'm at, I'm at this truck stop. I was about to go and take a shower, right? But I'm at a Love's truck, truck stop. And, um, I don't go to, I don't, I don't have a rewards card for Love's. So for some reason, my car wasn't working. I got money in my account. But my, some reason, my car wasn't working at the, um, at the register. So I was like, all right, you know what? Um, I'm gonna just, um, get some money out the ATM. So, like, as I'm, this is weird, man. Like, as I'm putting my card in the thing, um, I noticed some man walked up, and it's, I didn't know he was talking to me, but he said something. He was, he was like, right here, but I, I don't know why I wasn't, like, acknowledging him. I don't know why I was, I don't know what was going on, man. I don't know what that was about, yo. Maybe I didn't, maybe I wasn't the way he was talking to me, because I was, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the ATM. So, um, then I, I look up, and then, because I, I, it, it really didn't resonate to me even, like, what he said. So then I look up towards him, and I was like, um, you paying for a shower? And mind you, y'all, like, this is a, um, this is a Muslim guy, like straight from um, either India, Saudi Arabia, somewhere in the so-called Middle East, um, or probably even India. <clears throat> so this guy, he comes up to me, man, and he was like, "You paying for a shower?" And I was like, um, "I was like, yeah, I don't have a, um, a rewards card for loves." And he, man, this this brother, he said he'll pay, he'll do it for me because he like. Um, with truck stops, right, when you got the um, rewards card, like, every time you fill up, you get free showers, you know what I'm saying, and like I said, I didn't have one, one for this, um, truck stop, man, this, this dude stopped me in my tracks as I was about to get money out of the thing, because the, the showers cost $18, $18 for a shower is crazy, guys, you know what I'm saying, so he put me to the side, and he did it on the little app, and he bought that joint for me, I was like, I kept telling him, like, thank you, you know what I'm saying, like, thank you, you know, and um, I never, I never had an experience like that with a, um, with a, with a Muslim guy, like with an Arabian or whatever stuff like that. I never had one of those experiences because, like, I always felt like they had something against us. You know, I always felt that way. But one thing I did, I, I have noticed is that it's a lot of people's spirits. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people with their spirit, their heart. You know, it has, sometimes it has nothing to do with their race, religion, nothing like that. Sometimes it's just, it's just their, their soul, you know? Um, and this this dude, he had, a, he had a good spirit on him. He had a good heart, good soul, whatever you want to call it. Um, he was a good guy, yo. He was a good guy, man. And, um, and I say that to say, like, man, like, these these people that are, that, that are following Islam and stuff like that, us as Israelites, we're supposed to be the light to the Gentiles as written. You know, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing is wrong. They don't know that they're serving a false God. They don't know that. They've been, they've been being taught this stuff since they were born. They don't know what they're doing. And they just like all these trucks they just got in front of me and they pointing at me like what in the world bro that's the stuff to talk about man like always like everything is spiritual understand that everything is spiritual everything is spiritual <laughs> wow like because what are y'all doing man they made me lose my track of thought and everything yo they made me lose my, my train of thought man Gosh, dog, man. Like, it was it was literally two people, like, this drove up in front of my car. I mean, in front of my, my tractor trailer. And then they were just sitting here in a car and just looking at me and pointing at me. Like, what in the world? And then they just drove off. 
now my thoughts are gone. But it's gonna come back though, man. It's gonna come back. You see distractions, like like distractions, yo. Like this is real. Once you get into this truth, especially when you when you giving the word and stuff like that, man. It's gonna be distractions all the time, bro. Every single time. Not every single time, but it's, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen in this world. Um, but anyways, the Bible says we're supposed to be the light to the Gentiles. We're supposed to be the light to them. They don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they was raised up in this. They was raised up in, in, in falsehoods. They don't know. Even the Bible, what, what was Paul doing? He was ministering to the Gentiles. He is being the light unto the Gentiles. We have to be the same way, you know what I'm saying? Even though, like, right then at that moment, I was supposed to preach the gospel to him, but I, I didn't think fast enough. I didn't think about it. But it's times like that, we're supposed to be preaching this gospel to the Gentiles. We're the light. We're the light of this world, y'all. Y'all got to understand this. We're the light of this world. Here go the people again, passing by again. There they go again, right in front of my truck, yo. Now one getting out of the car. say some good stuff too they do that yo and how's my arms sweating i just put the odor on i hate when that happens yo i ain't getting that deodorant no more old spice they got it's an old spice with like some type of vanilla hit in it never again bro i'm, I'm just yo for now on i'm getting the dove women's deodorant yo that deodorant lasts all day no sweating on the underarms a lot of guys don't know about that oh yeah some guys do it's a lot of guys that actually know about that trick yo Women's love deodorant. Be going crazy. No sweating. You be in the building. And you really kind of don't even be smelling it for real. But, um, like I said, uh, before I was really interrupted, I ain't gonna say no names. <laughs> what I uh, mean, like, we have to be the light towards the Gentiles. They don't, they know not what they do. They have no knowledge of this. You know what I'm saying? These, these, these Muslims, yo, they never read the, the Bible in their lives. All they know is the Quran, 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 a religious book. This is all they know. They, they all they know is this religious book. That's all they know. They don't know the truth. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that um, Allah is just a, a form, another form um, in Arabic to say the word God. They don't know that. You know what I'm saying? God, the word God is universal. You know, any anything or anybody can be a God, or you can call anything God. You know what I'm saying? But who is Elohim? Who is the the Most High? He has a name. He has a name. His name is Yahuwah, Yah, um, whatever you want to call it. Some people say Yahweh. Um, to shorten it, you can say Yah. He has a name. He has a name. It says it in the Bible like at least two times. They took it out, the King James Version. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's like about two or three times where he says, my name is Jehovah. Which you see, we see what they did. You see what they did. The um, letter J just came about like about four to five hundred years ago. This is the ancient of days. This is the Most High. He's been around. Like what in the world? His name is not Jehovah. You know what I'm saying? So you see, as you can see, they switched it up because they know it's power in his name. That's why they did that. And and also that's um that's using his name in vain right there. You know what I'm saying? Taking away from his name, changing his name. That's that's using his name in vain. That's taking his name in vain. That's breaking the, the, one of the commandments right there. That's breaking the commandment. That's breaking the commandment. That's taking away from his name. Like I said, anything can be a God. You can call anything God. You know what I'm saying? There's people out here calling themselves God. Kevin Gates retarded so calling himself God. You know? Our God has a name, but they don't know that, though. These, these people in Islam, they don't know that. You know, we have to be the light to them, man. We have to do more than this, y'all. I have to do more than this. You, you, that's why I say all the time in my videos, self-examine yourself daily. Um, we have to do more than this, y'all, because we're in the last of the last days. We're in the end game now. We're in the end game now. But um, this is another reason how I know, like, 
It's a, it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing, right? Um, like I said, everybody's spirit, everybody is not bad people just because of their appearance, just because of their race or whatever, don't mean they, they hate, they hate Israelites. They don't mean that they hate black people, right? Um, check this out. I was, I was delivering, no, I was picking up a load. I was picking up a load somewhere. It was somewhere in the country or something like that. Number of white people there and stuff like that, right? So, um, there I had to go clean out my trailer. I had to go clean out my trailer. And um, I clean my trailer out and stuff like that. And then it's like, the lady, she literally waited until I did all that work cleaning out the trailer. It took me like about, shoot, like probably like eight, 10 minutes prior to clean, clean, clean out my whole trailer, right? She waited too. I could tell she waited. As soon as I was finished, she came out and she said, um, I had a I had a hole in my trailer. I'm like, what in the world? A hole in my trailer? She said, I got a hole in my trailer and we can't take it. She said, they, they can't take me right now or um, they can't they can't load me. They can't give me the load because I got a hole in my trailer. I'm like, what in the world? A hole in my trailer? I, I wasn't even aware of this. I wasn't aware of this. She said, but you can go and do this and do that. So I'm like, okay. So I called my dispatch. I was like, yo, I'm not, I'm not going back there, yo. You know what I'm saying? These people, I know exactly what it is. I'm telling him, I'm telling him this. I know exactly what it is. I'm thinking it's because I'm black. They told me to leave. I looked at my trailer. It was no holes in my trailer, nothing like that. It was a perfect trailer. It was a perfect trailer. There was no holes in that trailer at all. So look, check this out, right? This is this is when I noticed. Yahuwah, he be doing this with me all the time. He be like really clarifying things for me. Like it's not that, it's this. So um, I went to this truck stop that was not close by. It was, I mean, it was close by. And I'm just sitting there. And then um, I seen another um, tractor trailer that was with the same company as me. He came in and he parked. And I guess he saw me right there. Then he came up and he started talking to me. He just needed somebody to talk to. He needed somebody to talk to. Why would he come to me? He came to me out of, out of all people. He could have came to anybody. He just needed somebody to talk to. So um, I put my window down. We was talking and stuff like that. And he was like, um, hey, did you go to the um, that shipper? I forgot what the name of the place was that I just came from. And um, I was like, yeah, I just came from there. And then he was like, um, did, did the ladies give you a hard time talking about your trailer and something was wrong with your trailer or something like that? And I was like, yeah. I was like, yo. And this was a white man. He's of them, he's with them. This was a white man, this wasn't no black man. This was a white man they did the same thing to. So in that moment, I was like, yo, I'm just I'm just like mind, mind blown at this, at this point. I'm like, yo. And then Yahoo just let me know like, yeah. It's not a race thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of people's spirits and they, you know what I'm saying, their heart is is they're just bad people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people out here, they're just bad people. You know, it has nothing like a lot of these things have nothing to do with race and religion and stuff like that. It's a lot of just just bad people out here, yo. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of miserable miserable people out here. They they're miserable, they want everybody else to be miserable right along with them. You know. Um Yeah, man, um, and that's that's one thing that, I, that I've learned within this walk, man. Like I said, I've been in this walk, I've been saved for like since 2022, and that's another thing that um, has been revealed to me, you know, so. My bad. So I, like, now, nowadays, like I, especially after this situation right here, they open my eyes more, you know, and I, uh, I gotta be more understanding when it comes to things like that. You know? When it comes to dealing with people um, of other races and other religions and stuff like that, because like y'all gotta understand, you know, um, as as Af so-called African Americans of in America, like we've been through this all all our lives. You know, um, we've been oppressed, we've been treated badly by by these um, groups of people all our lives. You know, so we have to get out of that, y'all. We have to get out of that because everybody are not bad people. Everybody not bad people, so we got to change our minds. Like I say, um, the Bible says, um, when you once you be saved, um, the renewal of your mind starts to happen. You know, and this is what is happening. You know, what I'm saying my mind is getting renewed because all this time, you know, what I'm saying I looked at these people like kind of like almost our, our enemies. Even though I, I loved everybody all my life, I never had a hatred towards towards any t any group of people or nothing like that. But like, I, it was just always something, you know, in the back of my head, you know, but. We gotta renew our minds, y'all. We're in the truth now, you know. We have to be 
we had to, we have to, we just have to be the ones, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're the light of the earth, you know, and we got to show people that. Let your light shine upon men, for they see your good works, for they might glorify your Father in heaven. You know, we have to be those people. We're, we're the people. You know what I'm saying? We're his chosen people. We're Yahuwah's chosen people. Um, and we gotta light, we gotta let that light shine through us, you know. They'll see it. You know what I'm saying? Once they once they hear this wisdom that comes out of our mouth, they'll see it. They'll see it. Um now don't be scared, don't be worried. You know, as the Bible says that um in those times like that, he'll give you the words to say. And it happens with me every time. He always gives me the words to say. You know what I'm saying? Like if I feel the spirit moving and I'm and I'm, and I'm like, okay, this is this is one of those, this is one of those situations where especially like if, if the situation comes up, like if I, if they say something or something like that and, and like spark something or something, then that's when I bring in the conversation. You know, I'll bring in the conversation or, or it, it'll just flow, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll just flow and you will he'll just give me the words to say right then and there. That's what the Bible says he'll do, and he does it. He does it. You know, we gotta be bold as lions, y'all. We gotta be bold as lions. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to uh, put that little message out real quick. You know, I hope I gave some people some clarity on things, man. Because like, man, like you, you can't be brushing people off out here. You can't be brushing people off, especially like different races and races and stuff like that. Because th these people need help, man. These people need help, yo. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. Um, anyways, man. I'm looking because this thing on car still passing back and forth. I wish I could turn the camera around, but I can't. Anyways, man. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later.